Gigafactory full week of progress. Welcome to My Tesla Weekend. Giga Shanghai. Every time I think this factory is just about done, they break new ground. Ground is being cleared in the east side between the phase 2.5 buildings. I expect to see fresh work here soon. The northeast corner, where temporary offices were, has significantly more foundation work underway, with about three times as many footings this week. Quick word of thanks to my patrons, who get all the inside scoop, and if you sign up, you even get exclusive videos and more. In the spirit of Christmas, these Model Ys are all wrapped like presents and too numerous to fit beneath a tree. Deliveries are expected shortly. The steel structure at the north end of Phase 2 continues expansion, roughly doubling in size since last week. This appears on pace to complete steelwork in the next two or three weeks, with exterior walls and roofing going up the following week. Incidentally, the rooftop solar you see here is not photovoltaic cells, but pipes used to heat water. You can tell in some of the aerial shots when you look down, you can kind of see through them, which is not typical of PV cells. The area between Phase 1 and the battery shop is also making progress, with additional steelwork complete. The access road from the east side sees equipment being assembled to work on the bridge span as well as other ground prep. There's a lot of fresh pavement over the expansion into the melon farm and ground prep for even more continues. This may only be parking, but I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments. There are no clips from Berlin this week, as our German friends have what might be considered a healthy work-to-recreation balance, and they took their time to enjoy the holidays, so we'll look for that update next week and wish them all well. Giga Texas A quieter week than usual on account of the holidays, but the large building has continued filling out to the north, and new concrete columns have been placed in this northeast corner in addition to foundation work continuing. Steel work has continued south with this narrow channel likely to be used for running utilities on the inside of the building. The zipper pit has been backfilled and compacted, and many of the in-progress footings have been completed. The perimeter grade beam has been mostly poured. The big pit is almost entirely backfilled as the isolation foundation gets its final touches. This should be finished in about the next week. More concrete columns and roof beams have been installed, as well as roof decks. One of these columns was slightly too short, and while we thought it might have to be replaced, they simply removed the top beam and added a concrete cap to correct the height, a two-ton shim if you will. It's an elegant solution to a very simple problem. And if you want to know how far along Giga Texas is in its actual completed progress, check out our My Tesla Math series where the progress is laid out in sheer numbers. Additional gravel has been brought in to resume GeoPier work at the southwest corner. The last few footings in this area have been completed as well. I want to say a big thanks to Jeff Roberts, who allows us use of his Texas footage, and this week sat down with us for an interview, which you can find in the description below or, you know, by looking for it. Steelwork has advanced slightly on this western structure, but additional cranes have been brought on site which will allow the pace of construction to increase in coming weeks. So what am I missing or misunderstanding? Let me know in the comments because a lot of you have some really great ideas and thoughts and I'd love to hear them.
Overall, from all three sites, you can expect a much bigger update next week as things get back into the flow following the holidays. So stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you robots on the flippity-flop.